Good evening, Rajani here again, um, sharing my kitchen with you. Today I am making um, oatmeal soup, yes, oatmeal soup with um, celery, mushroom, and shredded carrot. And then um, I showed you yesterday the barley. Today, pretty much the same soup, but I'm using oatmeal. So um, you can use olive oil, but I use um, and then it doesn't have to be a whole tablespoon. It could be a teaspoon of um, butter. And then again, I'm gonna use those two um, ingredients that produces, um, it produces breast milk. It's a lactogenic spice um, or herb. Methi, which is fenugreek. And I'm gonna use this much. I would say about quarter of a teaspoon and then this is Ajawan this one I'm going to use quite a bit because in where I'm from Nepal we call this Juano and over here you can buy it says Ajawan in the Indian grocery store so it's almost browning now and then now I'm going to be putting my chopped um, actually pounded two cloves of garlic goes well with the uh, um, oatmeal and aduan and methi. And I'm ready to put my carrot. This is one shredded carrot, small shredded carrot. And I like to do things, you know, I'm not a gadget person, so I just shredded the carrot in a shredder. And then two celery celery one carrot two celery and then two of the mushroom right here two of the mushroom chopped finally and getting good and then I'm gonna use a tablespoon of salt um, or maybe this just, just use half a uh, a teaspoon because I just realized that I will be using a can of mushroom soup to thicken the oatmeal. Now I'm ready to use, this is one cup of oatmeal. I just soaked in the water about an hour ago. So one cup of um, whole grain, 100% whole grain um, oatmeal. It's 100% whole grain. And now I'm going to rise up the heat a little more there. Kind of mix it all together. And then it's getting really pretty good. Oatmeal, this oatmeal cooks like less than, the whole thing is done in less than 10 minutes. But then I'll show you, I usually do two cups of water. Just two cups of water. And I use a can of cream of mushroom soup. A can of cream of mushroom soup. And I use this, I could use this on barley soup. Um, if you don't have, if you don't wanna use all the vegetable, you just want to do azawan and garlic and methi and maybe carrot. If you don't have celery, if you don't have mushroom, you don't have to use it. This kind of thickens it, your soup. It makes it, in my mind, it makes it tastier. Um, you can make a, your own, you know, base using a corn starch or salt, water, pepper, whatever, but mine, I just prefer can of mushroom soup. So, um, because I, I decided not to use a whole can because it's gonna get really thick. So I'm gonna leave that. And then I'm actually gonna add a little bit of more water here because I want it to boil. I would say almost three cup of water. I'm looking for a cover. So I'm gonna cover this because it will cook. By the time we're done, it will cook. Um, to make it easier, I cook ahead of time. After that was cooked for like 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes, maybe seven to 10 minutes. I just garnish with parsley, chopped, freshly chopped parsley. And I'm gonna show you one more item real quick. 
I'm gonna show you how, how I make my spinach. Same uh, um, tablespoon or teaspoon of olive oil. Then I use a little bit of ginger, like a small piece of pounded ginger. And this time I even washed the ginger really good, ginger root, and I kind of um, This is ready to I'm lower the volume and I'm sorry, I mean lower the heat, not the volume. I'm just gonna put the olive oil, ginger and spinach. If you like if you like to put um Ajawan and Methi, you could do it. I thought maybe you get tired of smelling the same thing, so I want to make it something different. In Nepal, we do put Methi on it. Instead of, uh, in the beginning, we'll do Methi, but I just decided to do ginger. And spinach goes with, spinach is loaded with iron and protein. This is a good source of protein for vegetarian people, um, for vegetarians. So um, it cooks very, very fast and you can add it in your soup and you can just eat it like that. You can have, um, and then I'll add a little bit of salt, a little bit of salt here, the leftover from earlier, a teaspoon of salt because spinach will go. Yep, that's it. And we'll move it one more time because I I will be serving this very soon with my family dinner also. Okay, so let me. And the spinach, instead of olive oil, you could use sesame oil. In Nepal, we use mustard oil. That kind of gives you the flavor. Uh, but ginger already brings quite a bit of flavor. So, and again, if you would like to have more lactogenic spices, then you can always use methi and juano methi and ajwan in your spinach also. So as the spinach is cooking, very quickly I'm gonna uh, make a plate ready to show you how I I made this rice. Um, I have already shared a recipe with you with green peas, exactly same recipe. A cup of rice, two cup of water, tablespoon of um, um, butter, ghee, and then one shredded carrot, and um, at, and then I use half of small red onion. And then um, I will show you the, my, I usually buy jasmine rice, jasmine rice, I just use a cup, a cup of that rice, and then two cups of water. And then you can use olive oil if you rather not have, but this is like a rice pilaf, so it's kind of, um, so this is almost ready. My spinach is almost ready. See how quickly it cooks. And see still a lot of water. Yep, almost there. Now I'm gonna quickly have this plate ready. This is that rice we just cooked and I just use some parsley for garnishing kind of looks pretty and any green vegetables green you know any vegetable is good for you all the vegetables have a lot of okay and then you have that soup and for for people who like tuna this is something easy and it's full of nutrient again tuna has protein iron and it also has alpha omega um, fatty acid. So this is something, and then I use here for the, for one can of tuna, one can of tuna, which is eight ounce or six ounce, eight ounce, I believe. I use half a half of tomato, green onion, uh, red onion. You can use green onion in the season, two cloves of garlic. You can put whatever vegetable, but then I, kind of saute it like I just did it with other and then I like little spicy stuff so I use a one green chili pepper also. 
So this is also a really good food for, um, you know, something quick. So um, we're gonna share, I'm gonna share this with my husband. So there's my tuna. You can put more, you can put less. And then this is almost ready here, my spinach. And I let the water be there, you know, it's okay. But I just serve the spinach like this. I'm gonna turn it off actually. And we'll have it here. And I will quickly put this oatmeal soup that I made earlier, but that is almost ready too. Okay, very nice meal, ready to eat from Rosani's home to your home. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. Please subscribe, share with your friends and family members and like it. I will continue one dinner, one meal at a time. Thank you very much. Good night.